Okay, this is a quick video before I forget to show you where all three hide knights are, and that way I don't forget to kill them before I beat the game. Um, I'm gonna go do it. So starting from Majula, you're going to want the first hide knight that you're going to be able to get to in the game. Um, is going to be most likely in Forest of Fallen Giants, unless you've taken the wrong way and went through Hyde's Tower. And in that case, you wind up in Lost Bastille, and in Lost Bastille, you'll wind up running into the first night. Um, either way, this is going to go in the order that most people will probably play this. I honestly start with Hyde's Tower of Flame before I even go to the forest, and I don't go to the forest until I actually need um, the blacksmith key to get the the ability of having him repair my rings. Until then, I don't even mess with the forest. I hate the forest because the souls suck and it's just a waste of my time. Um, so anyway, let me get my bearings real quick and starting from here, we should have went to the other bonfire, but I guess this one will work. You can go this way. Um, you're going to want to go down here from this fire or you can come from the first fire in the forest of fallen giants to get to this location. Um, when you come over here, normally I would use magic on them to make it quick, but I'm going to try my Moonlight sword, Great Sword and see how well it works on them. Um, so anyway, this is your first one in Forest of Fallen Giants. He's just going to sit here. He doesn't attack you unless you attack him first. So we're going to start the battle by attacking him and And as you can see, he really wasn't that hard. He gives height knight leggings, and I think it varies um, as far as what he gives you. Okay, so we're going to just jump off of here. And travel to the next one. I'm going to try to make this video as quick as possible because I'm just trying to get it done. Okay, so the next Tide Knight you're going to run into is going to be in Lost Bastille. And <clears throat> you're going to want to start at the first bonfire there. Coming from No Man's Wharf. And this Tide Knight is plain and simple too. Um, they all pretty much are. You'll run into them regardless. I mean, they're not hidden. So they're pretty easy to find. Let's rest here so it saves progress. I highly doubt I'll get killed, I mean, but you never know. <laughs> so anyway, <clears throat> on this one, I'm going to start off with a magic attack using my Moonlight Great Sword on him. Um, I'm not even going to swing at him, I'm just going to power attack him. So here we go. And that's the end of him. And he dropped the Hide Knight Chainmail. See, they, they vary what they drop. Um, like, you can get a spear, you can get a halberd, you can get all kinds of crap. Um, I've got, I don't even know what all I've got from because this is New Game Plus Plus, and I've killed them every single time. So, um, they just drop various hide stuff. I've never used any of it, um, but this is to help those that want it. Um, the next one is going to be in Shaded Woods, and you're going to want to get to the Exile Holding Cells uh, Ruined Fork Road Bonfire. Now, mind you, from here, the reason I did this one last is not only because you have to have a Fragrant Branch of Yore to get to this one, because you have to remove Rosabeth of uh, whatever her name is from the um, whole thing to open Shaded Woods area. But not only that, I have not killed the enemies here completely, um, so they are still here. So, we're going to cast magic to get through them real quick because um, I might as well. Plus, the other reason I came here first is because of the fact that, or last, is because I also need to come here to get the um, where I'm headed right now. So, oh my god, back off me, faggots. Okay, when you have a problem like that, just back off and heal. Oh 
mean, I love this sword already. I mean, it's just awesome. The only problem is, is it's damage. Um, I should be wearing the ring that prevents it from getting damaged as quick. I still haven't used that ring since I got it. The um, ash knuckle or whatever it's called ring, um, I probably should to help with equipment deg degradation, but I don't. Um, he died on the first hit. And he died on the first hit. <clears throat> okay, so now that we've got these guys out of the way, you're gonna the, the next hide night is actually in Shrine, Shrine of Winter. Um, but in order to get there, you have to start at this fire, or you can start at Drangley Castle. And I figured it would be easier to start at this one because it would make more logical sense. Because most people are not going to be coming from Drangley Castle to get over here. So anyway, that's going to take care of them. On this guy, I'm going to use Crystal Soul Spears just to get end them real quick. Partially because my Moonlight Greatsword is kind of damaged. So here's Shrine of Winter. And you just want to come out here and just drop down. And run over here. And as you can see, there he is. Okay, so with Crystal Soul Spear, he should be dead on the third hit. And he is. Okay, so he dropped a Hide Knight Great Helm. Um, and that is the end of them. So I hope this video helps you in finding all the hide nights. I and mean, they're pretty self-explanatory and easy. So good luck.